So I want to show you guys some of my uh, new property, I guess, that uh, people have been asking about. Um, so of course I haven't really moved into a cabin, I've moved into a house. Um, it's a fully fledged house. Uh, it's around five acres. I might as well show you what, what we're working with now. So the goal, of course, long term, um, is to start growing a lot of my own food and stuff like that. Just, you know, to have a good garden and stuff like that. Uh, just so I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, worry about doing that kind of stuff. You know, I should be doing it myself. It's n not something too hard. Um, so I've, I've started things with that already, but I might as well show you the actual house itself. And, um, well, yeah, we'll start inside, because why not? Um, so this house, some of you guys know um, that I've mentioned it to. Um, I've probably talked about it on streams. It's actually been it owned by the family for a long time. Now, that doesn't mean that I got it for free. <laughs> I actually am buying this, but I'm buying it from uh, uh, a more distant relative, I guess. Like someone, a part of the family that's like, you know, related by great-great-grandparents uh, or something like that. But uh, not people I actually know. Uh, so I am buying it, and I'm buying it for what I consider a pretty good price. Um, but anyway, so here we are inside. Now, the past week since I've been here, I've just basically been decorating. Let me turn on the lights in here. Because, you know, I would, uh, if we were like a, uh, an expensive channel, we would have already done that. We would have had like assistance to do that. But, um, so, uh, anyway, so the first, the main room, that's where all the good stuff is. Uh, it, of course, originally, sort of a mess right now. We'll just go ahead and say that because I, everything, like there's so many things I'm putting in place, but, um, so the main room, of course, originally is the TV room. I got rid of the TV. We don't need a TV. And I just replaced it with another bookshelf and chair. Um, so I really just have uh, seating, bookshelves. This is one of the first places ever that I've managed to fit all of my books. So I really like it. Um, and in only, you know, three or four bookshelves. So it's, it's not that it's pretty compact. But, of course, I'm not autistic, so I don't order everything. It's all just pretty much in whatever order looks good. And not even that. Um, I have a dining room, but uh, it's filled with pictures because I'm going through all these like boxes of old pictures. The, my dad had a storage facility that's nearby here. It's close to the family land, and he had a bunch of stuff in it, including a whole bunch of pictures. So I'm sort of deciding what I want to uh, hang, what I want to do something with. Um, and I've also been like hammering a whole bunch of nails into the wall or like hammering a bunch of places to put up pictures just because... Uh, you know, I have so many. I'll probably be plastering, like, the entire house with pictures and stuff like that. Uh, and by the way, I need frames for my degrees. I sort of was thinking of hanging them as well. I've never... They've been in, like, the tube they're delivered in for all this time. Uh, but anyway, dining room, got a kitchen. You don't really need to sit in the kitchen. My master bedroom is sort of at the beginning of the house. Um, but I literally haven't put anything in there. Um, I've actually been working pretty profusely since I got here. Now, I have been doing some... I don't know, stuff on the computer. This is actually my office, by the way, which is a mess as well because I'm moving everything around. Like, where do I want to put my electronics? Where do I want to put my paper stuff? Where do I want to put blah, blah, blah. Um, but I, I have been doing a little stuff on the computer, just playing around with stuff. Um, as I'm, this, That's my usual time waster. Instead of, you know, watching Netflix, I usually just, you know, learn to do something on Linux. Um, but uh, but th this past week, instead of doing that, I've been doing some of that. I've been, like, hanging pictures. Uh, doing yard work, fixing things around the house. I had to fix some doorknobs, had to fix just a couple little things. Um, so this will probably be my studio kind of thing. Um, I need to put up more of those sound padding things. I have a couple of them, but I don't have the sticky stuff that you set them up with. So I need to get that. Um, anyway, the, nothing is too interesting in here. You'll probably see more of that because that's probably where I'm recording stuff. Although, since it is wooden, the acoustics are bad, so I just put down a bunch of arbitrary rugs that I found just to lessen the, the bad sound in, sound in here, but I'll probably be putting a lot of stuff on the wall as well. Um, nothing my, my extra bedrooms are back here, nothing really worth looking at. I do have a garage, which is sort of attached, sort of not. Um, got all my tools in there. So let me show you, so of course the plan was to eventually start growing everything for myself. I mean, not everything, but everything I could, you know. Um, now, I actually started, I'm starting here with a head start. Now, I just started like a compost pile over there. That, I mean, that's not too interesting. That's sort of typical stuff. People ask me if I'm going to start doing like um, tutorials on, I guess, uh, gardening. And if I do do that, it'll probably be a little while just because I don't want to give you bad advice because I might be doing, like I've already started some things, but I don't want to give you advice that like isn't going to work. But I will say there's already a bunch of stuff already here. So here are some great plants. 
Now these are not active now. In order now, I'm doing research on all of this while I'm, um, you know, sort of starting out here. But uh, these are not going to bear grapes this year just because they haven't been properly pruned and arranged. I think you need to, you basically need to set, you know, the whatever vine looks best for the next year and then let them grow. So next summer I'll be getting some grapes from these once I fix them all. But this summer, because, you know, I just moved in, they haven't really been maintained. They're not really going to produce anything. Now I do have a couple of fruit bearing trees. I think I have a couple, I think this is a pear tree. I'm not quite sure. Let me double check. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but... Uh, Whatever it has, they're not fully grown. A couple of them have fallen. Is this a baby pear? I'm not quite sure. Sort of looks like one, but uh, there are a couple fruit-bearing trees that have already been here that were planted um, by relatives that lived here before. Now, where it comes to where I'm planting the garden, I've thought there are a couple of areas that are free. Like that over there, I could probably do it over there. In the front yard, I could probably do it in the front yard, but I'm thinking about actually doing it in the back, and that's for multiple reasons. Uh, one of the issues is sunlight, which... I probably do get enough sunlight pretty much everywhere. There are some big trees back here, but um, I, I think compared to the other locations, this might be actually more sunny. And I started, last week I started making a little fire pit back here. So here's my vision. Here's what I want the garden to look like. And I don't just want it to be for growing plants. I want it to be sort of a nice place generally. And you can see there are like hedges that have been planted sort of on the edges of this area, this sort of open green area. So I'm thinking about using this open green area as a garden, and I made a little fire pit in the middle. So what I did last week, uh, one of the things I was doing last week when I had time, is I go down to the river, and at the river you can get a whole bunch of rocks, and I just like fill up buckets, like five gallon buckets with rocks. Because you can't get many rocks around here, but you can get some good ones at the river. Um, so I made this little basic fire pit. I haven't actually used it yet, but because I'm thinking about actually making it bigger. But, you know, just get some river rocks just because I don't like the way they look. And uh, so I'm thinking about probably actually making this taller. But uh, my idea for the garden is having a, sort of a place you can hang out or camp out um, in here. And then a bunch of raised beds around it. Sort of forming a kind of a maze or, or just, you know, a, a kind of place that's nice to hang around. Um, and I, I think I have enough sunlight in this area um, to do that. Now, of course, I could put gardens all over the place. Frankly, there's a lot of area to work with. Uh, in fact, it'd be nice because that's less stuff to mow. Uh, <laughs> when it comes to mowing, actually, uh, the, the contract that... Uh, um, ha so how I'm paying for this place, we have this contract where basically I don't have to do some things in the process of paying for it, like mowing the grass is one of them. Contrary to popular belief, not all boomers, not all 30-year-old boomers love mowing grass. And I'm, uh, I'm not quite 30 yet, but uh, I don't like mowing grass. <laughs> Uh, but there is a big mower over here in one of the barns. And I also have, uh, I also have like a gas canister if I want to get like gasoline delivered. Um, you know, people usually use it for like farming equipment, but theoretically I could use it for my car. Um, which speaking of which, uh, I really need to get, I so saw you guys might know I have this sedan, this Nissan, whatever, who knows. Uh, I've been thinking about just getting a, a pickup truck because Man, there are some things you just re you really need one. It, like if you if you have a productive hobby life, you basically need a pickup because you know you gotta haul lumber or whatever, all this kind of stuff. Like there've been a million times in the past week that I've needed a pickup. So if anyone wants to donate a free pickup to the channel and you live in South Georgia, North Florida, hit me up. But uh, realistically speaking, I'll probably look into buying one. You know, people will have some on sale or whatever. Uh, let's see what else there is. So there is this little shed. I sort of walked by it when I was looking at this pear tree. Um, but the shed, it um, has a nice little well in it. I mean, that's where my water comes from. It comes from a well. Um, I am on electric, like um, public electric or whatever. But that's pretty much my only bill. I guess I, I do have internet as well. Um, but I'm thinking about doing... Internet here is pretty bad. But uh, I have been able to upload videos, especially if I've uploaded this one. But... Um, uh, anyway, so this kind of shed thing, I'm thinking about, I think one of my relatives, oh look, an old dog bone. Um, anyway, one of my old relatives actually did have a dog that he kept in this shed. So there's this shed and he had a little opening where it could come out and play around. And that's important because like out here, it's so wild that uh, if you have pets, they're going to get eaten by something eventually, you know, coyotes or something. Coyotes are all over the place. Uh, I think there are boars. Um, but I'm thinking about doing something similar for, uh, as he has done, you know, sort of 
make a little fence out here and then make a little door for like chickens or something to live in. Uh, that's sort of how I'm thinking, you know, having, uh, you know, chickens or something else, just sort of have an area for them. And it's right next to where I'm building my compost pile. Um, okay, so let me think, is there anything else? So that's a lot of the basics. I'll probably do more videos on more specific stuff. So I don't want to get inside. It's actually, it's not that hot out today. Um, but uh, I don't know, I think it's when you're walking around and talking. It just takes a lot out of you. It takes, takes, you know, because I don't ever take breaths in between talking. Um, so, oh, it's so nice and cool. Oh, of course, I'll probably get my first electric bill here. And uh, it'll be like way more than I want to pay. And I'll like never use the AC again, but I'm just going to enjoy it for this month before I see my bill. Um, anyway, let's see what else is there to do. Maybe I'll show you some pictures of myself and that'll be the end of this video. Um, let me show you chronological pictures. Here's a picture of me when I was a baby. I actually had more hair than I do now. Look at that. What a fatty. Uh, here's me as a little kid. It's probably like kindergarten. It's about what I looked like. In first grade I got glasses. Let me see if I can find a picture. Like Actually, I guess this one right here. There's me and my brother. I'm the one with glasses. And uh, here is one. I want to say this is in middle school. Look at this smug kid. Yeah, that was me. That was me, kids. Uh, and one in high school over here. And this is what I look like. Look at this edgy kid. Owl the edge. Yep, that was me in high school. But then, like, during my 20s, especially once I moved out of the house, there just aren't many pictures of me. Or maybe there are a lot of pictures, but since I didn't, never had Facebook, I never saw any of them. <laughs> um... Let's see, yeah, I don't know if there are any others in here. Most of these pictures, I got most of these from my dad's storage shed, I think I said before. But uh, a lot of them were in the storage shed because they're, like, really old. Um, I would show you all these pictures, but there are people aside from me, so, you know, I don't know. It doesn't matter that much, but... Um, anyway, so that's about it, I guess. Um, so I've, I'm definitely enjoying this place. Let me turn off the light so I can save electricity. Uh, I'm definitely enjoying the place. Um... And uh, I got a whole bunch of plans for it, but we'll see how it goes. I um, I guess that's about it. So anyway, if you have any suggestions, any kind of garden suggestions or anything else, feel free to hit me up. Otherwise, I'm probably going to be hanging pictures for the rest of the day. Probably hanging stuff in that office and maybe in my, uh, my dining room here. Uh, just to make the walls. The walls in here are looking a little better because they have stuff all over the place, but everywhere else is a little bare, so I got to fix that. Um, so anyway, that's about it, and I'll see you guys next time.